for part two, um, we need to factor this into a perfect square binomial. So, ladies and yes. So I need to write this as a binomial squared. So essentially, all I'm doing is factoring this. That's all you're working on. And let me, I'll do an example of you. If I said x squared plus 4x plus 4, all right? If I gave you that problem and I said factor it, does anybody know what this factored is? Top of their head? Factor is 2. 16. Hmm. Oh, wait. 2. No, we already have C, so. Let's go through it the long way. A times C is 4. Four. What two numbers multiply to give you four, but add to give you four? Two. two and two. So we could say x plus two times x plus two. Right? And how can we rewrite x plus two times x plus two? x plus two squared. So, ladies and gentlemen, you really need to understand the definition of this. This definition is a special type of, is a trinomial. This is what we call a perfect square trinomial. Why is it a perfect square trinomial? Because when we factor this, we can factor this down to x plus 2 squared, which is a binomial squared. All right? So guess what? When I do the b divided by 2, guess what I create? I create a perfect square trinomial. So therefore, I can rewrite this as a binomial squared. Now my problem is, if I can't factor that in my head, then I need some way to devise how to figure out what is this as a binomial squared. So the answer is you can just do x is x plus b divided by 2. Well, we figured out b divided by 2 is a negative 1 fourth. So therefore, my final answer for part 2 is x minus 1 fourth squared. Okay.